Hello, this video is an introduction to APA style for students at UW-Superior. APA stands for the American Psychological Association, which is the largest professional organization of psychologists in the United States. The APA regularly releases new editions of the Publication Manual of the American Psychological Association, which is in its seventh edition and contains guidelines for citing and writing in APA style. This style is most often used in the social sciences, such as psychology, education, and sociology. You can find the print manual in the Jim Dan Hill Library at the front desk. And there is also a citation guide available here online at apastyle.apa.org. If you click on Style and Grammar Guidelines, you can see a few highlighted guides for writing and citing in APA style. First, let's take a look at how a paper is organized and formatted. If you are ever unsure how to format your paper, this is a great place to quickly look up APA's guidelines. Let's see what an APA style paper looks like. Right away, you can see there is a title page with the paper's title, the author's name, information about the department and class, as well as the date. Each page is numbered in the top right-hand corner and double line spacing is used. If you have used APA style in the past, you may be surprised to not see a running head or a shortened version of the title in the header of the paper. The newest edition of the APA manual does not require students to include a running head unless your instructor specifically requests it. Scrolling through, you can see in-text citations that are in parentheses and include the author's last name and the year the source was published separated by a comma. There are multiple headings seen throughout the paper. If you include headings in your paper, be sure to refer to the APA manual to check how to style each level of heading. Finally, as we scroll to the end of the paper, you can see a bibliography labeled References with all citations used in alphabetical order by author's last name or by organization's name. The first line of each citation is flush with the margin, but each subsequent line has a hanging indent. To use a hanging indent in Microsoft Word, highlight your entire references list. Find the paragraph settings. On a PC, you will see this option in the toolbar, and you can click the arrow to open the menu. Then under indentation, click the drop-down menu below special and choose hanging. Finally, click OK. On a Mac, click Format and Paragraph to find the same paragraph settings. Using the online version of Word, in the Home menu, click the three dots at the end of the toolbar and select Paragraph options to find these settings. Now that you are more familiar with how to structure an APA-style paper, let's head back to the APA's website to review how to cite these sources. Clicking on Style and Grammar Guidelines, Click on in-text citations to double check special cases of in-text citations that do not follow the traditional author last name and publication year structure. If you click on basic principles, you'll find a few great checklists that can help you determine when in-text citations are appropriate and how to cite them. When writing your full citations for your reference page, you can head to this guide in the style and grammar guidelines to see examples of how to cite many kinds of sources. Here you can explore various topics about the reference list, but this reference examples guide will be most helpful. Remember, you do not need to memorize APA style, so be sure to bookmark this page in your web browser. When writing a full citation for your source, you will first need to determine what type of source it is. If you are not sure, you can always consult a librarian for assistance. Once you have determined this information, you can check for a citation example in this guide. If you do not see the correct example here, be sure to consult the print APA manual in the library. One source you will be citing often in your papers is a journal article. Notice how each author is listed with their last name first, followed by their first and middle initial. Then comes the publication year, followed by the article title, which will only have the first word capitalized, as well as any word that comes after a punctuation mark, such as a colon. Next, 
we have the title of the journal in italics with each word capitalized, as well as the volume and issue of the journal. Notice how the volume is italicized and the issue is in parentheses. Finally, we have the page range and a live link at the end. That is the DOI, which stands for Digital Object Identifier, and is a URL that is unique to this journal article. Always include a DOI if you have one available. If you have any questions or if you need assistance with your research or citing an APA style, please contact a librarian. We are available by appointment through the Ask a Librarian page on our website, and you can schedule an appointment here. We are also available by email at askref at uwsuper.edu.